Hello. Welcome to our assessment of student learning one class. I am your teacher, Mr. Jacketson Goho. Please lend me your attention for this session. In a very simple way to describe the teaching learning process, it is a process happens between the teacher and the student. Before we jump to the discussions of the new focus of education, first I would like to define the very simple term education. So, what is education? Education originated from the terms educare or educare which meant to draw out. That means, extracting the barriers in the student's learning and getting the best of what the students can do and will do. However, for centuries, we believe that education is a pouring in process where the teachers were considered as the sole source of knowledge and the students were just passive recipients. It followed that the focus of instruction was content and subject matter. We were used to regarding education basically in terms of designating a set of subjects to take, and when the course is completed we pronounce the students are educated. Assuming that the instruction and activities we provided will lead to the desired knowledge, skills, and other attributes that we think the course passers would possess. But the period of technology brought a change in perspective in education, nationally and internationally. The teacher ceased to be the sole source of knowledge. Teacher's role changed from sage on the stage to guide on the side. The teacher has become a facilitator of knowledge who assists in the organization, interpretation, and validation of acquired facts and information. What is Outcomes-Based Education or OBE? Outcomes-Based Education is the new educational perspective, in which changes the educational focus from content to outcome. It also puts the students as the center of the educative process. There are three characteristics of OBE. One, it is student-centered. Two, it is faculty-driven. 3. Is meaningful. So, let us define the three characteristics of OBE. 1. It is student-centered. That means, it places the students at the center of the process by focusing on student learning outcomes, SLO. 2. It is faculty-driven. That means, it encourages faculty responsibility for teaching, assessing program outcomes, and motivating participation from the students. 3. Is meaningful. That means, it provides data to guide the teacher in making valid and continuing improvement in instruction and assessment activities. To implement outcomes-based education on the subject or course level, the following procedure is recommended. 1. Identification of the educational objectives of the subject slash course. 2. Listing of learning outcomes specified for each subject slash course objective. 3. Drafting outcomes assessment procedure. To understand the procedure, I will discuss it one at a time. 1. Listing of the educational objectives of the subject slash course. So, what are educational objectives? Educational objectives are the broad goals that the subject slash course expects to achieve, and defining in general terms the knowledge, skills, and attitude that the teacher will help the students to attain. The objectives are stated from the point of view of the teacher such as, to develop, to provide, to enhance, to inculcate, etc. 2. Listing of learning outcomes specified for each subject slash course objective. Since subject slash course objectives are broadly stated, they do not provide detailed guide to be reachable and measurable. Learning outcomes are stated as concrete active verbs such as, to demonstrate, to explain, to differentiate, etc. A good source of learning outcome statements is the Taxonomy of Educational Objectives by Benjamin Bloom. Bloom's Taxonomy of Educational Objectives is grouped into three namely, cognitive, psychomotor, and affective. The cognitive is called the knowledge, refers to mental skills such as remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, synthesizing slash creating. The psychomotor is also referred to as skills, includes manual or physical skills, which proceed from mental activities and range from the simplest to the complex such as observing, imitating, practicing, adapting, and innovating. The effective is also known as attitude, refers to growth in feelings or emotions from the simplest behavior to the complex such as receiving, responding, valuing, organizing, and internalizing. 3. Drafting Outcomes Assessment Procedure This procedure will enable the teacher to determine the degree to which the students are attaining the desired learning outcomes. It identifies for every outcome the data that will be gathered which will guide the selection of the assessment tools to be used and at what point assessment will be done. To recap our learned lesson for this session, we have, 1. The shift of educational focus from content to outcome, which the new perspective is called the Outcomes-Based Education or OBE. 2. The three characteristics of OBE we have. Student-centered, faculty-driven, meaningful. 3. The procedure to implement OBE we have. 
Identification of the educational objectives of the subject. Listing of learning outcomes specified for each subject. Drafting outcomes assessment procedure. 4. A good source of learning outcomes statement, the Bloom's taxonomy, which is grouped to three, we have the cognitive, psychomotor, and affective. Thank you for your time and effort class. Let's call it a day. This is your teacher Mr. Jackets and Goho saying God bless you all and have a nice day.